All right, hey guys, we're getting together for an upper body routine and some core training. So we're gonna start out like we always do with a little warm up because even though we're just doing upper body, we wanna make sure that the muscles are warmed up. Um, so we're gonna start out with just some shoulder rolls. Okay, start to make those shoulder rolls bigger and start to lift those elbows. Okay, now let's bring those arms big circles. And if you have any pain in your shoulders, stay in a pain-free range. So maybe your left shoulder is bothering you, just don't go as wide and big. Keep your core engaged. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's just march it up. Let's add some overhead presses. So really activate those muscles as you're pressing. Think about the muscle groups you're using. So working your shoulders. So control it. Okay, we're gonna add a step touch. And we're gonna crisscross the arms. So right now we're training both sides of the brain by adding that crossover with those arms. So remember, your workout is not only training your body, but you're also training your brain. Let's start to sit into it a little bit more. Really get that blood flowing. Relax the shoulder girdle. Try not to shrug the shoulders up. Okay, let's turn this into a butt kick. Wake up those hamstrings. Knees point to the floor. Let's add a little bicep curl. stretch out the hamstring a little bit by adding it's called a toy soldier so you're gonna come and let's add a little bit of a punch so it's not about how high you kick your leg up it's about getting that nice stretch in the back of the thigh now activate your chest shoulders triceps as you throw that punch Let's work on our hip hinge and let's talk about neutral spine. So I'm gonna stand um, so you can see my profile. You're gonna stand with your legs hip width apart. You're gonna press those hips to the back of the room. Come up and squeeze those glutes. Hip hinge and come up. So we're feeling the stretch in the hamstrings and we're also waking them up. I also want you to get used to a neutral spine because it's really important to maintain that throughout your workouts. Whenever we're doing plank moves or anything. Neutral spine is when you have that natural curve in your lower back and you never round. So this is not correct when you're bent over. So you want a natural curve, not too much of a excessive arch. Just a natural arch. Okay, two more. And one. Okay, so hopefully you're pretty much warmed up. Ah. So we're gonna first start out with a row. So it's really important to work those posterior muscles because we do a lot of things in front of us, desk work, computer work, um, cooking, just anything, everything's in front of you. So the chest gets really tight and the back gets really stretched out. So it's important that we tighten the back and stretch out the chest. So um, in choosing your weights, um, I would go with a heavier weight because your muscle groups in your back um, are very, very strong. So I'm gonna go with the heavy weight. So we're gonna go into a row. So I'm gonna show you two different options. This is called the quad, quadruped position. You wanna keep your abdominal muscles engaged. We talked about neutral spine. Your shoulders are gonna be over your wrists. Your hips are gonna be over your knees. You're gonna pull. Okay, this is option one. Keep your abs tight, I want you to pull with your back and your biceps. Your abs are tight and engaged. To make this harder, pull your knees back, but keep your shoulders over your wrists. To make it even harder, we're gonna come up into a high plank. Now 
Now really focus on the breathing. Don't hold your breath. Okay, you have a nice alignment with the head. So the head is in line with the spine. Keep those hips parallel to the floor. Let's do four more. Get that mind-body connection that you're working your back. We have two more. Left, right equals one. Okay, from here, we're gonna sit back in a child's pose. We're gonna just take a little break. Okay, from here, we're gonna do um, a tricep kip back. And that's gonna require probably a little bit of lighter weight. So I'm gonna grab my moderate weight. So I'm gonna give you two options. Again, we're in the same position. Your shoulders are over your wrists, hips over your knees. So we're gonna go kick back and down. So you want your wrist to be right underneath the elbow and your elbow should be above shoulder height. Your abdominal muscles are engaged. So this is also a core exercise. You're training your abs. So kick back. Now to make it a little bit more advanced, you can extend your opposite leg or you can actually lift the leg up. So just let's keep focusing on that tricep. Exhale, inhale. Now, if you want to make it an even uh, tweak the tricep a little bit more, you can actually flip the wrist up and then rotate back to the thigh. Keep drawing in those abs. So we're working a lot of muscle groups right now. Let's do a couple more. All right, let's switch. Switch legs. So I'm going to start out with your option one. Elbow shoulder height kick back, and then stop when the wrist is under the L, uh, shoulder. Exhale, inhale, blow out, breathe in. My abs are engaged, okay, check. Think about it, run through those checkpoints with yourself. Now, if you wanna advance the move, extend one leg. Really engage the glute when you extend that leg. Okay, maybe add your leg lift. So it makes you less stable. Makes it harder. Now, if you want, rotate that palm up and then back to the thigh. Exhale and inhale. Okay, we having fun? Three, two, and one. Okay, great job. Okay, the next move is optional. You can do it on the mat or you can do it on a stability ball. So I choose a stability ball because it's working um, more muscle groups. But if you're new to training, I would just stay on the floor, pick up your dumbbells. So let me talk about the positioning with the dumbbells. I would go heavy on the chest, okay? Because the chest is pretty strong. It's, it's a, I would use probably the same way you would use for the rows, for the back. So you roll out. Let me get myself in position so you can see me. Okay, you're gonna lift the hips up if you're using the stability ball. Pick up your weight. If you're already on the floor, just grab your dumbbells, palms forward, hold those hips up, exhale, squeeze the chest, take the elbows down. So the wrist should stay stacked over the elbows. Press and down. Again, tighten up those abs. So when you use the stability ball, you're also working your glutes, your hamstrings, you're working on balance. So it's, it's a more, more advanced move. So if you're new to this, I wouldn't use the stability ball. Squeeze your chest. Think about what you're working. You're working your chest, your shoulders, 
and your triceps. One more. All right, nice job. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next exercise. The next exercise is uh, a bicep curl to an overhead press. That, I would probably go medium to heavy. You gotta kind of gauge yourself. You gotta kind of feel it out. So, I'm gonna have a student miss standing. So, you're um, in an athletic stance. Your legs are about hip width apart. Your knees are slightly bent. You're kind of digging those heels into the floor. Shoulders are pulled back, chest is lifted. We're gonna curl to press. Exhale. Press it up. So it's really important to focus on the breath. Never hold your breath. So when you exhale during the difficult portion of the lift, it actually tightens up your core muscles, so it really protects your back. So it's, it's um, breathing's really important for injury prevention. Plus it's not good for your blood pressure um, to hold your breath during weight training. So weight training helps you to build muscle, which helps you to increase your metabolism, builds more confidence and self-esteem, and gives bit better shape to your body. And don't worry women, you have to lift very heavy to bulk up. So don't let that stop you from lifting weights and challenge yourself. Because if you're using weight that is extremely light and it's not doing anything for you, you're really not gonna get results. Let's do two more. All right. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> All right, the next move we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, a plank with the reverse fly. I love planks, um, but I like to mix it doing other muscle groups just because it keeps things exciting and interesting. And I would love to get the most bang for my time. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna work on the back of the shoulder. I would choose lightweight for this next one, medium to light. So once again, you're in your plank position. Shoulders are over the wrist, hips are parallel to the floor. You have your two weights. <clears throat> so this focuses on the rear deltoid, the back of the shoulder. This helps with posture. So we're gonna take it out and down, out to the side and down. Exhale, inhale. <sighs> okay, now if we want to advance the move, pull the knees back, but keep the shoulders still stacked over the hips. I mean, just keep the shoulders stacked over the wrists. Exhale, inhale. <sighs> so you'll notice when you bring one arm up, you're gonna really feel your abs kicking because they're trying to stabilize that upper body. Okay, I'm gonna make it harder now. I'm gonna be off my knees. Keep those shoulders and hips level. Let's do four more. Three more. Stability ball, completely optional. If you're new to training or you don't have a stability ball, you can do the same move on the floor. I would choose one heavy dumbbell, your heaviest that you have. You're gonna cup the sides of the dumbbell. Elbows are gonna be slightly bent. Without the ball, it looks like this. So you're gonna stop when it's just over your chest. 
You're gonna stretch, don't arch your back, and come up, don't hyperextend. It's all right to have a little natural curve. But remember how we discussed um, neutral spine. I'm gonna use the stability ball, because I wanna work more muscles, and I wanna work on my balance. All right, so I'm gonna lift my hips up, engage my glutes, be careful not to hyperextend, overly arch the back. Dumbbell starts over the chest. Slight bend to the elbows, get a stretch. Exhale up. So this is called a pullover. This works your chest and your back. So really think about using the lats as you pull it over. The lats are around muscles that are located on the sides of your back. Large muscles. And give the dumbbell a good squeeze as you pull it over. Let's do five more. And the dumbbell, the, using a dumbbell is completely optional. So basic crunch is option one. So you're going to bring your chin towards the ceiling. Have your shoulder blades clear the floor. Keep your abdominal muscles tight, 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 tight. When you go down, that's not a time to release those abs. You want to keep them tight the whole time. When you touch them, you should, they should feel braced as if you're having a full belly laugh. Okay, so up and down, okay? Option two, this is much more advanced. Legs up, dumbbell up, press it up. Okay, let's go. Exhale, push. So you wanna make sure that you're not choosing an exercise that is too advanced, but yeah, you also wanna challenge yourself. So listen to your body. And remember, you do have to push yourself to see results. Exhale. Remember, don't release those abs. Nose and chin to the ceiling. Let's do five, four, three, two. And one, okay. We're gonna move on now. Okay, push-ups. Um, I bet you never thought push-ups was for abs. It's a great upper body move, but it's also an awesome core strengthener. So remember how I talked about multitasking. I don't like just holding a plank. So let's incorporate the plank into the push-up. So when you're doing a push-up, and I'm gonna start out with the knees push-up. You always want, um, let's start out with the arm shoulder width apart because there's many different um, arm positionings, but we're gonna keep those arms, um, shoulder width are a little bit wider. Fingertips are pointing forward. Press those hips forward. Stomach is tight. Okay, we go on through that whole checklist. Now we're gonna slowly bend the elbows. Stop when your shoulders are in line with your elbows. Okay, don't go any lower. Exhale, push it up. Inhale, slow, slow, slow. And exhale, press. One thing I don't want to see, and it's hard to tell if you don't remember, is having your hands far forward doing push-ups like this. This is ineffective. It's not going to do anything. So I'd rather see you have your butt up in the ear doing push-ups with, um, with your wrists at your armpits than having your arms way out here. 
okay? So let's, let's focus, let's try to get 15 reps, okay? So let's go down, exhale up. So for my people that um, are a little bit more advanced, we're gonna come up off those knees, exhale, push, inhale, exhale, three, feel those abs tighten, four, exhale, five, six, keep those shoulder blades engaged, seven, eight, nine, 10, five more, five, four, and just stop when you have to, three, two, and one. Okay, let's sit back in a child's pose. Sit back, reach those fingertips forward, relax that head. Try to have your forehead make contact with the mat. Take a deep breath and exhale. Okay, we need some rotational work now. So we're gonna do what I call the boxer twist. Fist to forehead, knees are bent, neutral spine, abdominal muscles engaged. Right, left, three quarters back. Like a triangle. It's quick, quick, down. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Now, if your neck is starting to bother, you can always put your fingertips behind your head. So twist, twist, don't relax those abs. Keep them tight. Okay, let's change direction. This time we're gonna go left, right, three quarters back. Ready? Keep focusing. Work those abs. Strengthen them. Do your powerhouse. That's where all the power comes from when you move. It's important to keep those abs nice and strong. And they help you to rotate. Let's do three more. Two. One. All right, moving on. All right, next move. We're gonna do um, a plank. Not a big favorite of a lot of people, but they're good for you. So, let's roll to the side. I'm gonna show you um, an option one plank. So an option one plank, shoulder over the elbow, hips resting on the floor initially, hips stacked, knees stacked, ankles stacked, stomach is tight. Um, now you can use this arm to cheat a little bit if you're really new to side planks, okay? So, we're gonna lift, feel it in this oblique, closest to the floor, and down. Now to make it harder, you make your lever longer. It's up and down, even harder, even harder. Okay, stick with your level of intensity. and really press through that elbow. Try not to focus on the shoulder. I, that's everyone's chief complaint. But if you focus on the obliques, it'll take the focus off the shoulder. And you get used to it after a while. Exhale, inhale, on the way down. Exhale up, inhale down. One more. All right, let's go to the other side. So I'm gonna start with option one. So you're on that, um, knees are stacked, hips are stacked, feet are stacked, shoulder directly over the elbow. It's really important that you set up properly from the beginning, engage your core. You can use this cheat arm if you need to, but don't let your hips roll forward. Exhale, okay, option two. Option three. And four, and five, and six. All right, let's focus. Three. Two. 
and one. Okay. We're going to do one more exercise targeting a little bit more of those lower abs. Once again, I'm going to show you the different levels of progression. So, option one, now watch your spine. Make sure that it's neutral. You should be able to fit a couple of fingers underneath your lower back. All right? Not, no more. You shouldn't be able to fit a whole hand. You're going to pull the knee in, and then you're going to extend it using your abs. This is option one. If this is too difficult, you, um, you lift your leg up a little higher so it's not parallel to the floor. Okay, more advanced. Okay, so this is double leg press. Lift your head and shoulders off the floor. So if you're using a single leg, You're going to switch legs now. S six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go back to the top. So, going through this second round should actually be easier because you know what you're doing. Neurologically, you've learned the move. That's the hardest part is like that first set, trying to figure things out. So let's go back and start with that, um, the row, the plank row. So we're gonna pick up our heavy dumbbells. Okay, so remember, we're on all fours for option one. Let's start that row. We're gonna blow right through this part now because we know what we're doing. Pull the knees back to make it a little bit more difficult. Get into your plank to really blow through it. Exhale, inhale, come on, be strong. Be powerful. Picture that back. Getting strong. Having good posture. Stabilize those hips. Okay, let's wrap up four more. Remember, left, right equals one. Pull, come on. One more. Okay, nice job. Next one is the kickback. I feel stronger, especially after that first set, I call it like a warm-up set. So I'm gonna go heavier than I did the last time, but you need to listen to your body. If you like the weight you used, totally fine. So, and if you have wrist issues, it's always nice to maybe use two dumbbells for this because it kind of neutralizes the wrist position. I forgot to tell you that on set one. All right, so let's talk about this kit back again. So you're gonna press back, just like that, okay? Option two, and three. Okay, let's focus. Add that wrist flip up if you want. Okay, let's go five more. Four, three, two, one. Nice. All right, let's do the other side now. All right, set up. Stomach tight, shoulders over the wrists. All right, let's go. Pull that elbow up to shoulder height. Wrist is under the elbow. Go, kick back. To make it more challenging, pull those knees back. I'm sorry, no, we're not doing that. We're staying on all fours. Then we add the, the tripod position, or we add the leg lift. Okay, let's add that wrist rotation if you want. Keep that gaze forward. Don't look back at your legs. Let's go, five more. All right, okay, we have the chest press, heavy weight. Whatever you consider heavy. So remember, we had the option of doing it either on the floor or the stability ball. If you're gonna get on the floor, you grab your dumbbells like this, 
and you line up. Stability ball users. All right, let's lift those hips and go. Press and down. Okay, if you want to change it up a little bit, make it more challenging, alternate the punch. Keep those shoulder blades retracted. Let's do five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. Next move. Bicep curl to overhead shoulder press. And by the way, feel free to have water whenever you need it. I'd like to take a little sip. Make sure to hydrate before, during, and after class. Always hydrate. Flushes out the system, keeps you hydrated, and satiates your appetite. Ready? So, athletic stance, curl. Press, curl, push. So notice how the second set is actually easier. And you're more into it with that mind-body connection. Now that's the importance of the warm-up. You never want to jump right into a routine with heavy weights. Four more. Don't let those shoulders roll forward on the curls. Two more. Last one. All right. Next move. Oh, we get the reverse fly. Love the reverse fly. Gives you that nice little rounded shoulder look. So, remember, it also works on your posture. Pulls those shoulders back. Um, medium weight. Medium to light. So, like I said, I'm feeling stronger. Warmed up, so I'm gonna go heavier. Um, this is the alternating a reverse fly. So we're back onto the, in the quadruped position. So, the move is this, stomach tight. Always set your abs, set your core. Okay, this is option one. Option two, let's pull those knees back, keep the shoulders over the um, wrists. Okay, now I'm gonna come up off my knees. This is option three. Four more. Remember, left, right equals one. All right, we did it. We did it. Okay, we just have the pullover. Heaviest weight you own. Cup the sides. Option is on the floor, on the ball. So if you're on the ball, by the way, you want to make sure that head is comfortably resting. You don't want your head dropping back or your chin being tucked into your chest. Okay, let's go. Stretch, elbows are slightly bent. Pull it over your chest. So be careful, make sure you're not um, bending and straightening those elbows. This isn't a skull crusher. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Remember, we're working the chest and the back. Always focus on the muscle groups you're working on. It helps you to get a better workout.
and four more. Squeeze that dumbbell, three, two, and one. All right, we have got the crunch. Crunch is next. So this is optional, remember, we don't have to use the dumbbell. Um, remember, I am gonna review these two options. The basic crunch, always checking on that, making sure you're not hyperextending, keeping those abdominal muscles um, engaged. Well, legs elevated, press it up. Chin and nose to the ceiling, push. So let's do eight more, seven, six, five, three, two, and one. All right. We get that push up. So hands are shoulder width or a little bit wider. Fingertips are pointing forward. Tighten up and engage that core. When you bend those elbows, you want those palms coming near the armpits. Ready? Take it down. Exhale, push. Down, kind of gazing forward. You don't want to look back or anything. You want a nice uh, alignment in the spine. Okay, let's go. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, come on, let's go. Three, two, one, woo! All right, we're almost there, guys. We have the boxer twist. Oh, it gives me such a good pump in those abs. All right, so this is this one. So we can even throw some punches. Let's throw some punches in here. All right, now, if, again, if your neck bothers you, just go twist, twist, down, supporting your head and neck. Just a little bit, don't yank on it, ready? Left, right, three quarters back. Left, right, three quarters back. the opposite side this time. So option one, knees back. Ready, let's go. Left and low, make sure the um, elbows under the shoulder. Hips are stacked. Option two, option three, option four. Oh, these are so much easier on set two. See what happens when you move? When you move, your body feels better. It's like lubricating the Tin Man, and we don't want to become Tin Men in this uh, isolation time. Got to keep moving, keep the spirits up. Three, two, and one. Let's go to the other side. All right, set up. Hip stacked, abdominal muscles engaged. Let's go. 
two, three, four. Focus on those abs. Especially that oblique closest to the floor. Keep drawing in. Keep lengthening through the spine. All right, we did it. All right, let me see if I can figure out how to put some cool down music because this is not my playlist. Oh, it is my playlist. Best part. Stretch it. Although I love the other parts, but most people love the stretching the most. Alright, so let's sit back into child's pose. So sit those hips back towards those heels, extend those fingertips forward, and have that forehead make contact with something, whether it's the mat. If you have a hard time touching your forehead to the mat, you can always stack your hands or fists. Okay, coming all the way up on all fours. Let's take a nice deep breath. Inhale, sweep that left arm up. Gaze up at your hand. And then exhale, we're going to thread the needle. So you're going to palm up, go down, gently lower to your temple. Don't put all the pressure on your temple, though. Use your right hand to kind of take a lot of the weight off. Now you have the option to reach your right arm overhead, get a stretch. Turn that right hand or palm towards the side of the room and reach for that hip for a little rotator cuff stretch. And release that stretch. Coming back up on all fours. This time we're gonna take that right arm, sweep it up, look up at the hand, get a stretch in the chest. And now exhale, thread that arm under. Gently lower to your temple. Focus on soothing breaths, nice deep. Three counts in and three counts out. And now reach that left arm overhead. It's optional too. You don't have to go to this point. You can just stay where we just were. If you want, take that left arm up towards the ceiling, turn the palm to the back of the room, take the top of the hand, reach for that right hip, pull that elbow up towards the ceiling, feeling a stretch in the rotator cuff area. And coming up. And we'll swivel those legs in front of us. And it's always nice to end on the mat. It's a little bit more relaxing. Let's do a little lower back stretch with the knees tucked to the chest. Maybe little circles with those knees, giving you a little spinal massage. And reverse the circles. And now placing those heels flat on the floor with those palms up towards the ceiling in a T position. Let those knees gently lower to the left as you gaze out over the right fingertips. Feeling that stretch in your chest, in your neck, in your waist, in your hips. And 
And now use those abdominal muscles to pivot those knees to the right and now gaze out over your left fingertips. Relax the shoulder girdle. And now reach those arms overhead, extend those legs in a pencil stretch. Fingertips together, lengthening through those abdominal muscles, reaching those legs down, focusing on your breaths. Okay, let's slowly roll either to the right or left side, bending those knees, coming up to a seated position. Crossing those legs in front of us, sitting up nice and tall, taking a deep breath, sweeping those arms up overhead, and exhaling down. I'm grateful that I got to spend my morning with you guys. <laughs>